Hi everyone, it's Cole from Easy Crypto here. And in this video, I'll be going over blockchain explorers, what they are and how to use them. So if you're watching this video, you probably already know what a blockchain is, but if you don't, a blockchain is a transparent ledger that consists of blocks of transactions. Now what a blockchain explorer does is it lets you peek into that blockchain and view all of its uh, data. So you can use an explorer to search for live and historical data about a particular chain. This includes transactions, blocks, and their information about each transaction. Most blockchains will have their own blockchain explorer, and this is how you can find a blockchain explorer for the coin you are wanting to search and find data about. So what you do is go over to any browser of your choice, I'll use Firefox, and what you can do is search coin market cap. Okay, so once you're here on coin market cap, what you want to do is just search uh, the coin you are wanting to find a blockchain explorer for. So for example, let's do Solana. I'll search Sol here. I'll click Solana. So just hover over explorers here, and then there are two options. So for example, explorer.solana, I will open link a new tab. And here is a blockchain explorer for the Solana blockchain. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to navigate a Bitcoin block explorer called Bitaps. So you just search bitaps.com and this is it. The reason I'm showing you how to navigate a Bitcoin explorer is because Bitcoin was the first blockchain and most blockchains have evolved from this original creation. Therefore, once you have an understanding of how to operate a Bitcoin block explorer, most other explorers become quite easy to navigate. So there are loads of options for uh, Bitcoin blockchain explorers, but I uh, personally just prefer bitapps.com. I think it's easy to use, easy to navigate, and I'm just used to it. Okay, so now let's take a look at bitapps and see what everything means. So when you arrive at bitapps.com, this is the first screen you will see. And the first thing you'll notice is the last block over here. So this is the last Bitcoin block that was mined, and this is how long ago that block was mined, which was 19 minutes ago. At the bottom here, we can see pool transactions and best fee. So the pool transactions is how many transactions are awaiting to be mined and confirmed on the blockchain. And the best fee is the best fee you can pay to get your transaction confirmed in terms of sat per byte. So depending on how many bytes, how much space your transaction takes on the blockchain, it will be priced in eight sats per byte. This is a very useful feature as uh, when you want to send someone Bitcoin or send a Bitcoin to an exchange and you want it to clear as soon as possible while paying the lowest fee, you can come over here and see what the best fee is and then I'll usually do one higher than this. So if I were to transact on Bitcoin's blockchain now, I would do nine sat per byte. Now on the right, we can see uh, Bitcoin's price in US dollars on a whole bunch of exchanges. So here we have Bitfinex, Coinbase Pro, Bitstamp and so on and so on. So if we scroll down, we can see a whole bunch of information regarding uh, Bitcoin's blockchain and general statistics. So as we can see here, we can see how many blocks there are, how many transactions have taken place, how many addresses, unspent outputs, and so on and so on. What's interesting here is also the uh, Bitcoin circulating supply is here. So if you ever want to know what the exact circulating supply is, you can come over to BitApps. And now this is Bitcoin's uh, distribution by addresses. This isn't too important, but you can take a look at if you are interested. Now on the right here is uh, all the last blocks, who they've been mined by, and how many transactions were in there, and how large it was. It also tells you how long ago the block was mined. This isn't really too important. If you like Bitcoin, you're interested in Bitcoin, you can come here and look at all these stats. Here's unconfirmed transactions. Uh, the best fee, as we discussed earlier, you can use this as a guide to how much fee you should pay for a Bitcoin transaction. And the rest of this is unimportant, but if you are interested in Bitcoin, you can come check this out. And now here at the bottom, we can see uh, Bitcoin's proof of work and emission statistics. So here we can see the hash rate, Bitcoin mining difficulty, and so on and so on. So none of this really is too important. If you are very interested in Bitcoin, you can come and take a look at all of this. But the important part is navigating the blockchain. So now we'll take a look at how to navigate a blockchain using addresses, transaction IDs, and so on. There are three main things you'll search for on a blockchain explorer. The first thing is a transaction ID. 
The second thing is a Bitcoin address or crypto address if you're using a different block explorer. And thirdly, a block number. So first we'll do block numbers. So let's say I'm looking for block number 100,000. I'll just type in 100,000 and search it. Okay, so now here is all the information regarding block 100,000. Most of this is unimportant. You don't really need to understand what any of this means unless you're really interested in Bitcoin. If you are really interested in Bitcoin, what you can also do is go to block zero. And this is the original Bitcoin block, the first Bitcoin block ever mined. And if you know a lot about Bitcoin, you know that the Coinbase message that Satoshi Nakamoto left was this. The Times 03 Jan 2009, Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks. Okay, so that is how you search for a Bitcoin block. Now, let's say you have a transaction ID and you'd like to look more into this transaction. So over here, I've got a random transaction ID. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to head over to BitApps again and just search it over here. So now BitApps will take me to this Bitcoin transaction. And there's a whole bunch of inf information here, such as what block it was in, the type of transaction, how many confirmations it is, and so on and so on. So the important thing here is the input and the output. So as you can see, there's one input from this address and it sent 0 0.0113983 Bitcoin to this address. But this address received 0 0.0113686 due to the minor fee over here. So this is a Bitcoin transaction. When someone sends you Bitcoin, they'll probably send you a transaction ID. And when you're using Easy Crypto, we'll give you a transaction ID. And this is where you can check that the transaction actually took place on the blockchain. So other than searching for a transaction ID, you would also search for a Bitcoin address. If you'd like to peek into an address and see how much Bitcoin there is and the transactions that have taken place in this address, you can do that. So what you wanna do is find an address I've got this one saved here. I'm gonna copy it and just paste it right here. So now what I'm doing is I'm peeking into this address and I can see its balance, total received, total sent, and all of its transactions. So as you can see at the moment, the balance is zero Bitcoin. This has no Bitcoin on it at the moment. In total, it has received 0 0.11426680 Bitcoin and sent the same. As you can see, there are 24 transactions with this address and it has received 12 and sent 12. So now if we take a look down, we can see all the transactions that have taken place. So let's go all the way to the bottom and we can see the first transaction was eight months and 28 days ago in block 682,007. So this is the transaction ID, which we were looking at earlier. And this is how much Bitcoin this address received. So if we go ahead and open this link here, we will see over here that it came from this address and they sent this much Bitcoin to this address and we can confirm that over here. So these are all the transactions that have taken place with this address and that is essentially all the information you will need from a blockchain explorer unless you're really interested in Bitcoin and you'd like to learn more and you'd like to experiment more. If you would like to uh, use Bitcoin more, get more involved, there are quite a few tools uh, at the top right here that BitApps offers. So you can generate an address, convert private or public keys to addresses, and a whole bunch of other things. So that is a Bitcoin blockchain explorer. We showed you how to search for blocks, how to search for a transaction, and how to search for an address. So if you ever order, uh, place an order on Easy Crypto, it will give you the transaction ID. All you can do is plop it in here, and then you can see all the transaction details. If you wanna go straight to the address you sent the funds to, you can also plop the address in here and you will see that the funds have arrived in your wallet. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I hope that was useful and you know how to uh, operate a blockchain explorer better. And keep in mind, most blockchains are based on Bitcoin's original design. So other blockchain explorers will be easy to navigate once you know how to navigate this one.